Welcome to episode 246 of Build Your House Yourself University by Hi You. I'm your host and fellow student, Michelle Nelson, and together we'll learn the basics of home design and construction and demystify the building process so we can make smart design decisions and build quality dream homes with or without a general contractor. Well, Happy New Year. It's so good to be back. In this episode, we'll cover a recent article from House.com called 40 Home Design Trends That Will Shape 2022. I think it's important for us to be aware of what's trending in home design, but we probably shouldn't be too interested in fads. We'll be talking about trends. There's a difference. A fad is short-lived. It comes and goes quickly. A fad is a style that suddenly becomes popular and is embraced with exaggerated zeal. But fads usually don't stay popular for very long and can seriously date your house. Think sponge-painted walls of the 1990s. A trend, on the other hand, is a general direction in which something is going. Trends are popular in a particular season and they last longer than fads. Some trends can stay in style for many years or even decades, and some trends can actually become timeless classics. Many trends are current and classic, and those are the best ones to follow, if you like them, because they won't date your house. A white kitchen, for example, is on trend today, but it's also a timeless classic. A white kitchen looked great 10 years ago, and even 100 years ago. And a white kitchen also looks great today and probably will be on trend for the next 10 to 100 years. To come up with today's list of trends, Howes browsed thousands of popular photos and spoke with dozens of home design and remodeling professionals. They also studied the latest Howes data and research and looked at lots of past articles to come up with this collection of home design trends that they think will be popular in the months to come. Before we get to those trends, I want to thank Riker I Hardly Know Her for our Apple Podcasts five-star rating and review. On the subject of trends, Riker asked, if I think recording rooms and lighting areas will become popular in the future. Well, in my opinion, because the pandemic has made Zoom meetings so popular, homeowners are thinking a lot more about good lighting in their homes, so they look their best in those virtual meetings. So I do think more people will be adding better lighting in their homes, whether that's in the form of ring lights, which you can get from Amazon, or simply better general lighting. I have an entire episode about flattering lighting for your home in episode 207. So yes, I think better lighting in homes will be a trend. However, I don't think many homeowners will have separate rooms built specifically for recording either audio or video. Instead, like I mentioned in episode 241, which was called The Future of Open Concept Floor Plan Homes, I think we'll see the addition of private out-of-the-way rooms in new open concept homes. Rooms where you can go when you need a quiet environment. Those rooms, I think, will be multifunctional and work as maybe a guest room or a home office, plus be somewhere you can go when you need to do an audio or video recording. I do my recordings in a guest bedroom, for example. Okay, hope that answers your question, Riker. Thanks for the review. Okay, let's move to the first part of the list of Houses Home Trend Predictions for 2022. First, we'll start with kitchens. Number one, multiple window banks. Large window banks of multiple windows are in trend for 2022. So instead of having just one or two single standard sized windows in a room, multiple windows on walls is what we're seeing. This is especially true for kitchens, which sometimes have two or even three walls of windows. Homeowners love all the natural light that comes from those windows. Lots of fresh air is also a plus if those windows are operable. Many homeowners are foregoing upper cabinets so they can include more windows in their kitchens. According to research, 
done by the National Kitchen and Bath Association, we're seeing a long-term trend in kitchen design toward connectedness to nature. Because we've been spending so much time indoors in the past couple of years, folks are, quote, craving a connection to the outdoors and nature, and larger windows in the kitchen help achieve this goal, end quote. Number two, casual collected look. The house's most recent kitchen trends study found that all white kitchens will remain a dominant trend. However, a more casual, less formal style is trending in 2022. This casual look features softer, lighter paint colors and natural wood tones. Instead of kitchen cabinets being all the same style and color, we'll see a mix of cabinet colors and styles. This mix of cabinets has been trending for many years now. The layered mixture of styles and colors makes the kitchen look like it was put together over time in a relaxed, natural way. Nothing too fussy or formal, but more casual and curated. And although colors, finishes, and styles don't exactly match each other, they do go with each other. They coordinate. This is a trend that we'll see in kitchens and throughout the home. As an example, the house article talked about a kitchen with white and blue cabinets, some of which had glass fronts, plus a taupe-colored backsplash and natural wood tone accents. The kitchen was the most saved kitchen photo from house in 2021. Number three, islands. The kitchen island is one of those trends that has become a classic must-have, if you have the space. But in the last couple of years, islands have been taking on even more duties. In addition to providing extra counter space for eating and food prep, islands serve as a place for parents to do work and kids to do homework and schoolwork, as it were. Kitchen islands are a place to charge phones and do FaceTime with friends and family. In addition, kitchen islands provide a central hub for kitchen workhorses like the dishwasher, sink, and pull out trash and recycling bins. Number four, appliances in islands. So speaking of islands, another trend we're seeing, according to House, is homeowners choosing to locate a beverage fridge at one end of the kitchen island. This allows guests and family members to grab a drink without getting in the way of the cook. A microwave at one end of the island can also solve the same problem, letting someone heat up a snack without blocking the refrigerator or stove. Number five, hardworking kitchen storage. Now, cabinetry is becoming more functional and more ergonomic. More drawers and pullouts bring items from the back of the cabinet to the front. There are special shelves that can lift heavy appliances like stand mixers from a lower cabinet to countertop height, which is a great aging in place feature. We're also seeing drawer dividers and pegboards that organize plates and bowls and silverware. Number six, long linear backsplash tile. White subway tile is a classic look for kitchen backsplashes, but many homeowners are searching for a fresh modern twist on subway tiles. Long white 4 by 12 inch ceramic tiles are a trending variation of traditional subway tile. The rectangular shape is timeless, but the elongated form creates an updated look. Other variations on subway tile include rectangular tiles with dimension, like wavy or beveled edges. Also trending are rectangular subway-like tiles with textured glazes like a crackle glaze. And unique layouts like vertical stacked tiles, herringbone, and basket weave patterns. I've also noticed that slab backsplashes are very much on trend, and they have been for the last several years. Groutless, smooth slabs of marble, quartz, porcelain, and quartzite give the kitchen a sleek, uninterrupted backsplash that extends seamlessly from the countertop. Number seven. Light marble look quartz countertops. Marble is a classic material, but quartz is a trending countertop and backsplash material that seems to be becoming a classic as well. Marble can be a pain to maintain, so many homeowners are choosing durable marble look engineered quartz instead. It's stain resistant and never has to be sealed. If you want to choose a quartz that's less likely to look dated over time, 
choose lighter, more subtle veining. The veins don't have to be thin. The veins can be either thin or broad, but be careful that the veining is not too bold, dark, or busy. Otherwise, that very specific bold veining may veer off trend sooner rather than later. More subtle veining is less likely to scream of a specific error. Take a look at the show notes for example of subtle versus bold veining. Number eight, heated island countertops. Now, I've got a feeling that this feature is mainly trending in colder climates. In the house article, the example they gave was from a house in Minnesota. If you live in a cold climate, you can install a heating element beneath your island countertop, similar to one that's typically used in radiant heated floors. So when someone puts their arms or hands on the countertop, they're met with a welcoming, toasty, warm surface. Number nine, a white kitchen with classic details. As I've mentioned, a mostly white kitchen is a classic timeless trend that continues to be the most popular of all kitchen color schemes, according to House. White creates a bright, fresh, airy, clean feeling. But an all-white kitchen can sometimes feel too cold and sterile. To add character, softness, and balance, you can incorporate texture with things like shiplap, beadboard, and dimensional tile. And you can add wood accents to add warmth to white kitchens. Number 10, lantern-style lighting. Oversized lighting can really make a statement, but large, solid fixtures like those with drum shades can obstruct views. Large, open, lantern-style lighting is trending because it can make a big statement without blocking the sight lines to kitchen windows, focal point range hoods, and gorgeous cabinetry. Another lighting trend that I've seen in more contemporary or transitional kitchens are those very slender lighting fixtures. Long, thin, horizontal bar lights and skinny vertical pendant lights are on trend too. These slender features also cause minimal obstruction of sight lines. Take a look at the show notes for examples of these. Moving on to bathroom trends. Number 11, marble. Although marble might be considered too precious and high maintenance for today's kitchen countertops, Marble is trending on the walls and floors of bathrooms, according to House. I would personally caution you against using marble in your bathroom if you won't tolerate the patina that will develop over time. Stains and etching are almost inevitable with marble. To hear more about the pros and cons of marble, take a listen to episode 178 called Marble, Awesome or Awful. Number 12. Hard-working bathroom storage. Smart storage is as important in bathrooms as it is in kitchens. Pros recommend a mix of open, closed, drawer, cabinet, and niche storage in bathrooms. Number 13, dressed-up style. Interestingly, although House said kitchens are becoming more casual, they say bathrooms look more tailored. The look often includes rich woods, custom cabinetry, dramatic black accents, jewelry-like lighting, and classic finishes such as marble and shiny polished nickel. I think bathroom style trends depend on the homeowner's preferences. I've also seen plenty of casual spa-like bathrooms that are luxurious, but less precious and less formal. Number 14, multiple shower heads and sprays. According to House, 23% of homeowners who updated their shower installed dual shower heads and 16% added body sprays. Frankly, I think 16% is a pretty small number to count as a trend, but House included body sprays in their article. I've actually seen fewer body sprays in model homes and photos of new homes as compared to about 8 to 10 years ago. I have, however, seen more handheld sprayers which house pros recommend. These handheld sprayers can be used for rinsing shaved legs, cleaning the shower walls, and washing pets and kids. Number 15, low curb showers. Curbless and low curb shower entries are trending. This feature creates a safer, more accessible entry point for showers. 
Number 16. Shiplap. House says shiplap has been showing up everywhere in bathrooms. In my experience, I'm still seeing shiplap, but not as much as I saw a few years ago. To be clear, shiplap has been around for decades, so it really is a classic. But it was Chip and Joanna Gaines who made shiplap incredibly popular a few years ago. Number 17. Freestanding bathtubs. In recent years, some homeowners who aren't really bath people have built primary bathrooms with an oversized shower and no bathtub. But for those who enjoy taking baths, freestanding tubs are still on trend. According to House, 54% of renovated bathrooms went with a freestanding acrylic soaking tub. Number 18. Stylish shower tub combos or alcove tubs. As I mentioned, freestanding acrylic soaking tubs are by far the most popular bathtub style, but common shower tub combos are rising in popularity, up four points from 22% in 2020 to 26% in 2021, according to House's U.S. Bathroom Trends study. I think these shower tub combos are a great option if you don't have the space or budget for a freestanding tub. Number 19, stylish design for aging in place. Homeowners are incorporating universal design in their homes. And trending universal design features not only functional products, but those that are attractive. Some grab bars, for example, come in trendy finishes like champagne bronze or matte black and do double duty as a towel bar. These secret grab bars meet the Americans with Disabilities Act guidelines and are beautifully inconspicuous at the same time. Other accessible design features like curbless showers, non-slip flooring, and shower benches have become desirable and stylish features for homeowners of all ages. If you want to learn more about aging in place features, you can check out our episode 243. And number 20, heated floors. When House asked more than 50 home design and remodeling professionals what bathroom features they most recommend to homeowners, one of the answers they gave was heated floors. Because a cold tile floor can ruin a spa-like experience, and because heated floors are relatively inexpensive and easy to install, they are a fairly luxurious trend that's recommended by designers. I have an episode on radiant heated floors. It is episode 39. Well, those were the first 20 trends for 2022 outlined by House. We'll cover trends 21 through 40 in the next episode. So make sure you subscribe to the show so you'll get it as soon as it's released. A final note about trends. Only include trends in your house that you actually like or love. You shouldn't include styles, colors, or items only because they're trending. If it's a trend, but you don't like the way it looks or functions, don't include it in your new house. It's your home. It should be a representation of you, what you like, and what works for your aesthetic and lifestyle. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll join me again next time for part two of what's trending in 2022, according to House. Please remember that the purpose of this podcast is simply to educate and inform. It's not a substitute for professional advice. The information that you hear is based only on the opinions, research, and experiences of my guests and myself. That information might be incomplete, it's subject to change, and it may not apply to your project. In addition, building codes and requirements vary from region to region, so always consult a professional about specific recommendations for your home. Thank you.